We're now going to talk about graphing quadratic functions. And a quadratic function is a function where the highest power of x is a 2, yeah? A quadratic, a squared if you like, yeah? And the most basic one is y equals x squared, and we're going to have a look at y equals minus x squared. Because we need that knowledge of these two uh, functions before we can move on to, let's say, graphing uh, the quadratic functions y equals x squared minus 4x plus 3, okay? And that's what I'm going to do in my next videos, because if I can graph these, if I understand these functions, then I will understand that function. And then, and only then, I will be able to answer all sorts of questions about my function, okay? But that will all make sense in the future videos to come, yeah? So we've got to start at the beginning a quadratic function. Now, to give you a bird's eye view again, we've done linear functions, yeah? Where the highest power of x is a 1. And we realized, well, a linear function, yeah, if we make a table of values, we need two points, but we always do at least three to check ourselves. But it will always look like a line. You always get a line, a straight line for a linear function. Uh, for a quadratic function, you are never going to get a line. But you're going to get something else, something beautiful. You're going to get what we call a parabola. Okay? Let me write that word uh, down for you. A parabola. And a parabola... So this is only for a quadratic function. A parabola is a symmetrical function, okay? Where you have some sort of line of symmetry in the middle. And it's a curve, okay? It's a beautiful curve. There's nothing weird going on. It's a beautiful curve. And I'm going to show you uh, what that roughly looks like, okay? So what does a parabola look like? Now, in this video, we're going to graph these two very quickly, because I'm just going to create some points. Yeah? Usually, you're going to get a table of values, and maybe you have to add one or two uh, points yourself. Uh, but now we're going to do it all together. We're going to do it relatively quickly. I'm going to put a zero in the middle for x. And what is y going to be? Zero squared It's going to be zero. And when x is one, y is going to be one squared, which is one. When x is two, y is going to be two squared, which is four. And when x is three, y is going to be 3 squared, which is 9. And I especially, or deliberately started in the middle, because on this side, I'm going to do minus 1. And when x is minus 1, y is going to be, now be careful if you need a calculator for that, minus 1 squared in brackets, uh, minus 1 times minus 1 is also 1. Yeah? And when x is minus 2, minus 2 times minus 2 is 4. And perhaps you already see some sort of pattern, symmetry. When x would be minus 3, y is going to be 9. Okay, if I graph this, yeah, the line, or not the line, listen to me, the quadratic function, the parabola, y equals x squared, I'll have a point here, there, 2, 4, minus 2, 4, 3, 9, doesn't even fit anymore, yeah, and if I would graph it, and now this takes some practice, and it's a lot easier with a pencil then we have a marker, but I'm going to try the best I can. Look at that. It needs to be a smooth curve, okay? A smooth curve, um, not too pointy, okay? Do not just connect the dots, but no, it needs to be a smooth curve where I have some sort of minimum here, yeah? But this side is symmetrical to that side. I have a mirror line here in the middle, okay? You see that? That's a mirror line, a line of reflection. So if I have a weird point here now, something like this, it's not going to happen. You made a mistake, okay? Because this is just going on and on and on and on, yeah? When it's minus 3, it's 9. When it's minus 4, it's 16. You see that? When it's 3, it's 9. When it's 4, it's 16. It's a beautiful curve. It's a parabola. It is magical. Truly. Okay, minus x squared, very quickly. When x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, 1 squared is 1. But then I have a minus in front of it, so minus 1. When x is 2, 2 squared is 4, minus 4. When x is minus 1, minus 1 squared is 1, so minus 1, yeah? When x is minus 2, minus 4. And if I will plot those points, and I'll do that in green, it will look like this. Again, a parabola, a quadratic function, uh, not there, sorry, that's wrong. 2 minus 4, minus 2 minus 4. A parabola is always symmetrical. But now, this one, because it is minus x squared, it's going down, yeah? It's a mountain, if you like. When it's a positive x squared, it's a valley. 
When it's a negative x squared, it is a mountain, but it's still a parabola with a line of symmetry. Okay, if we understand that, we can now move on to different types of quadratic functions. Well, not really different types. It's still a, qu a quadratic function with the highest power of x being 2. But we're going to see how that minus 4x term and that term of 3 is going to affect my parabola. Okay, but this is still going to be a beautiful parabola, a beautiful symmetrical curve somewhere. Um, yeah, um, so always keep that into mind. Okay, check my site explainingmaths.com for more resources. Okay, and like and share this video if it was useful. Thank you very much. Bye bye.